Southeast Radio's morning mix. Chat, Chat news, news and, and your news. news. Alan Corcoran. I'm joined by a presenter of Business Matters, Carl Fitzpatrick. Carl, we're facing an unprecedented level of uncertainty and business might want to access advice on how best to protect their business. Is there somewhere they can go for this advice? Yes, Alan, the good news is there is. Firstly, the Department of Business, Enterprise and Innovation has published a business continuity planning checklist. This document provides businesses with a practical tool to deal with the key risks to the continuity of their business activities and also of preparatory actions that can be taken to respond. This checklist can be found at dbei.gov.ie, the Department of Business website, and I would urge all business owners to use this over the coming weeks. Also, Alan, the local enterprise office in every county will be providing vouchers from €2,500 up to €10,000 with 50-50 match funding to support business continuity preparedness, innovation and productivity. And also, I would encourage businesses to take advantage of these supports. And then finally, a finance in focus grant of €7,200 will be available to Enterprise Ireland clients that want to access consultancy support to undertake immediate finance reviews. And Carl, what financial supports are available for businesses? say with uh, the obvious one that we'd be concerned about now, cash flow difficulties. There's many businesses out there already, Alan, that are suffering from cash flow difficulties. The Department of Business has introduced a package of financial supports for businesses impacted by COVID-19, which include the following. A €200 million strategic banking corporation of Ireland working capital scheme for eligible businesses impacted by COVID-19. Loans of up to €1.5 million will be available at reduced rates, with up to the first €500,000 unsecured. Applications can be made directly through the SBCI website for this support scheme. Also, a €200 million package for enterprise supports, including a rescue and restructuring scheme available for vulnerable but viable businesses that need to restructure or transform their business. Applications can be made for this through Enterprise Ireland. The maximum loan available from Microfinance Ireland has been increased from €25,000 to €50,000 as an immediate measure to specifically deal with exceptional circumstances that businesses with up to nine staff are facing. Applications can be made through Microfinance Ireland directly. The credit guarantee scheme will be available to COVID-19 impacted firms through the pillar banks and loans of up to €1 million will be available at terms of up to seven years. Now we hear about this first responder uh, support service, Carl. What is the first responder uh, support service? Yeah, it's a great question, Alan, and it's causing some confusion out there. It's a multi-agency approach to this problem. Now the Department of Employment Affairs and Social Protection and the Department of Business, Enterprise and Innovation will provide a joint first responder support service through the Intrio offices and the development agencies which include Enterprise Ireland and the IDA in each region and they will be providing tailored supports for impacted businesses with the objective of avoiding mass layoffs and buying time for firms to work through the short-term disruptions. Firms that need to reduce hours or days worked can avail of the Department of Employment Affairs and Social Protection short-term work support by contacting their local Intrio office. And a full range of Enterprise Ireland, IDA, local enterprise office and grant supports will be available to firms to help with strategies to innovate, diversify markets and supply chains and to improve competitiveness. There's another big elephant in the room as well that we need to talk about. Uh, what arrangements have been made for sick pay, Carl? Well, I have to acknowledge firstly that not all employers pay sick pay across the county. So on that basis, the department have made some changes to the sick pay scheme. The first six-day waiting period has been waived for anyone that is in medically required self-isolation. The personal rate of illness benefit will increase from €203 Euros to €305 Euros for a maximum of two weeks for medically required self-isolation or for the full duration of absence for work following the full confirmed diagnosis of COVID-19. In uncharted waters, these are difficult times. Very difficult times, but Alan, there are lots of supports out there and I would certainly encourage businesses to take advantage of them. And Business Matters comes our way tomorrow morning at half past ten. What have you got on it? On tomorrow's Business Matters, we have former Irish rugby player Jamie Heaslip, who will be providing us with an insight into life after rugby. He's invested in many businesses. He's now, of course, the brand ambassador and working full-time with a digital lender called Flender. We're also joined by Enterprise Ireland that's going to give us information and advice as well about more of the supports and how they can be accessed for businesses that will be suffering as a consequence of COVID-19. Southeast Radio's Morning Mix. Chat Chat news and your news. Alan Corcoran.